Hey friends, in this video, I will prove a theorem that is in an AP if mth term is n, let's say in an AP if mth term of the AP is n and the nth term of the AP is m, where obviously m is not equals to n, we have to find the pth term. Pth term that means we have to find some other term. So what exactly the question is, uh, uh, or what you have question that means what exactly what we have to prove is that mth term is n. So we can write it as something like this. Let me change the color. Let's say this one. Yeah, a m is equals to n, and a n equals to m. Right. Now what we can do with this two. Now as we know, a m equals to n. First, let's do with this a m equals to n. So, what we can write with the help of a m? So, we can write it as a plus m minus 1 into d equals to n, where a is the first term and d is the common difference. Right. Now, similarly, when a n is equals to m, we can write it as a plus n minus 1 into d is equals to M. So why A and D are same for both the thing because this is used or this is done for same series or same sequence. So A and D for the same sequence will be same for both the uh, both the point that is A M equals to N and A N equals to M. These two are for the same sequence. So here A and D are same. This point to be noted over there. Now let's say this is equation one and this is an equation 2 now we will subtract subtract 1 minus 2 something like this 1 equation 1 minus equation 2 so what we'll get we'll get a plus m minus 1 into d minus a plus n minus 1 into d equals to n minus m so further simplifying what we'll get uh, we will get m d minus d minus a plus n d minus uh, minus minus plus d and this one will be uh, minus because minus plus will be minus equals to n minus m so will cancel out D will cancel out a and further we can take common D from both uh, these two terms and uh, we'll get M minus N and over there N minus M right now from here what you can get D is equals to N minus M by M minus N taking common minus from the let's say the numerator we will get minus m minus n by m minus n so we'll cancel out and d is equals to minus one so what we got we got d is equals to minus one now we can uh, put it in any equation and get that one that is here we can say that d is minus 1 so in any equation you can put it in uh, 1 or 2 let's say we are taking as the first equation that is a m minus 1 into d is equals to n so this is the first equation equation 1 and we are putting d as minus 1 what we'll get m minus 1 minus 1 equals to n and further we will if we simplify this this will be minus m plus 1 equals to n a equals to n plus m minus 1 so what we got a as we have to find a why you found a from here we will get to knowing the coming slide now going to the next slide uh, we can we know that a is equals to n plus m minus 1 so as we have to find out what you have to find out what do you find out we have to find out the pth 
term. So pth term will can be written as a p that is equals to we can write as a p minus one into d. Why a and d are uh, as I have uh, told uh, told earlier also that a and d are same as that of the previous one because it is on the same sequence. So a and d is same. Now a is this one n my n plus m minus one n plus m minus one. Let it be p minus one over there and d is minus one as we know. So the pth term will be n plus m minus one plus uh, uh, this will be minus as minus plus minus so minus p plus one one will be cancelled out and we got a p is equals to m plus m minus p n plus m minus p so this is the pth term that we can find if we know the nth term and the mth term so if the nth term is m and the mth term is n then the pth term will be n plus m minus p so uh, what is the importance of this equation the importance of this equation is that we uh, don't need a or d that is we don't need a that is the first term and d that is common difference to find out some term of this sequence some pth term or some general any term of the sequence we just do not need this a or d as we know that if we don't know this thing we have to find we, have, we should know that what is the value of a that is the first term and what is the value of that common difference then, then only we can get uh, any number is term that is we know that a n is equals to a plus n minus 1 into d so to find out any nth term we need to know a and d but the importance of this uh, particular um, proof is that we don't need we uh, there is no need of a and d we can find out using the value n m and p the pth term so i hope it is clear that how we can find the pth term of a series or a sequence if the nth term is m and mth term is, mth term is n if you have any doubt, please comment down below and thanks for watching.